Good morning. We're going to do this square in New Report, Massachusetts. Uh, really, really fun painting to do. A uh, lot of detail, a lot of stuff going on. So first we're going to establish the big shapes, shapes of the buildings, and then the shape of the sun, you know, the whole thing. All right, so I'm going to begin with ultramarine blue. Uh, drop that in the sky. But in, in addition to that, what I want to do is establish the shape of all the shadows. If you can do that, it helps you a lot to really clarify your big shapes and get that out of the way, okay? So that's all, you know, this, this is all shadow stuff in the back. We're going to do those trees and all. All right, there's a shadow underneath the eave here. Shadow on the side of the buildings. I'm sorry, the side of the windows. And there's a shadow underneath the E, underneath the awnings here. I'm going to try to paint around the wind to people, but it doesn't matter. All right, there's a flight of concrete stairs in front of this uh, little square. I wanted to get those in. All right, I'm going to pop in the red now, paint, just paint around the windows, you know, leave the stripe for the windows, and then go back and establish the size of the windows and get that all sh shaped in. A little brighter red as it turns the corner. It's getting a little more light. I'm popping some cadmium red in there just to... There's a lot of reflective light going on in, inside there, so I want to show that. All right, basically get that whole shape done. All right, a little shadow underneath the eave there. And I'll bring that, bring that red down. Cut around the windows. Windows all in line with each other. All right, we're above the awnings there. So I'm just gonna take some water and wash that red, right? That's all sidewalk, that's all brick sidewalk. Uh, on the right there, we have a, a building in the light. And so it's just all light red. All right, this is ultramarine blue with a little touch of aurelian yellow. Very dark uh, tree in the back there. And then I added some more aurelian yellow. Get some brighter green in there. Just scumbling, you know, just getting some scumbling of the branches and leave plenty of light there to see through. Put a little more green, light green in there. You want a nice variety in your greens. That's all in the background, so it's all dark. There's a storefront here. I'm going to just sort of establish that. All right, I'm going to pop in, pop in the windows. A little winds of blue reflecting the sky. A little suggestion of windows on the side. There's some doorways in here. Put those in very dark ultramarine blue with Quincy in it. and you can put a drop of red in there if you want. All right, there's a shadow on the left side of these windows, just popping that in. Big dark storefronts here underneath the awnings. I'm painting the top of them very dark, and then I'm going to go in with some. Uh, Winds of blue, just to show a little reflection of the light. Hard to see in the video, but a little much lighter. All right, raw sienna for the awnings. Shadow on the side and just some stripes on top there. Make it fun. All right, ultramarine shadow. I'm just picking up a little of the red in there, but all shadow under the awnings few chimneys up top. Pop in some more red here just to I just want to pick up that bright the brightness of that brick. It's reflecting the light and it's a shadow across there. Alright, just give it a little more gusto. Alright, there's a bunch of shrubbery here. This is just 
Just a bunch of trees growing and a little shrub. A little darker under the awning there. All right, I'm gonna pop in some figures here. Just a little crowd in the background. Just dark for now. Here's the head. Popping in the heads with <laughs> Quincy Anna. All right. And this, this fella's got some shorts on. So he's got his head and his shorts. I bounce back and forth while I have the color on my brush, you know. It's easier for me to do it that way. All right. That fellow in dark. So just establishing the figures. All right, I was gonna put red, red legs on them, but it, the black ran down, so I just gave him trousers. Give him a little puppy. It's a fun little square, you know, it's a very beautiful square. They had all historic buildings around and really nice walkways and sidewalks. All right, over here we have a lantern, the old style lanterns. Another small one in there. It's all fun detail, you know, all this stuff is really uh, fun. All right, I just threw some uh, ultramarine in for shadows in the front along the people. And another railing on the side here. All right, so you can see it's coming together, establishing a little shadow underneath the eave there. Another awning on the side of the building. All right, I'm using a little gouache, just putting a little highlight on the figures here. It's, you know, especially people that are in the sunlight, very bright. Just little halos and lighting up their heads where, you know, where the light is hitting them. Uh, that's actually a gray I put on the awning. There's a real strong uh, bumper here. I'm not sure uh, what it's for. I guess it's protection so cars can't run up there. But a little bike rack on this side. All these little details help out, you know. All right, so I'm changing, uh, changing these uh, tops to a lighter color rather than all that black, you know, just, you know, just a little lighter jacket. This one's a little more pink. All right, I'm putting a doorway behind these people to uh, make the people pop out a little more in the sunlight, you know. Okay, no windows. Makes them jump out a little more in the sun. All right, there's another figure. That's his head and that's the bottom. And we'll put a little white top on her. No collar. There's another, another little addition walking through. A little halite, halo on them. Okay. All right, the the uh, lanterns have some uh, flowers, plant plants on them, hanging flowers, and so I'll put those in front. Another lantern over here. All these little details, they just you know they they help to make it more. Uh, local, more original to with the area, you know. They're all fun. It's all fun to do. So it's all fun to do. Get those uh, details in there and all, you know, all the 
A little more flowers here hanging on the pole. All these little things really make it homey and make it, you know, germane to the area that you're in. A few little details on the person. All right, so it just, that finishes it up. There's the little details. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned a few things and I appreciate you uh, joining me. Thank you so much. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, I appreciate it if you will. Subscribe and follow. Thank you so much and I will see you again soon.